Hello everyone. How is everyone out there doing? From what I see on the news, not too well. What's with this stuff going on in the... Oh, what's the name of the city? I've been seeing it all over the place. You'd think I'd remember. The shooting and yet another cop shooting somebody. Awful. Uh, glad to be away from that. Um... Here it's good. I got lost downtown today, but I survived it, so survived to tell the tale. There's actually, there's a festival going on down there. It's a cultural festival, so there was uh, a lot of booths and a lot of junk food and smiling people and dancing people, and it was just real nice, and I was uh, going down there to check out gym memberships, but what should have been one kilometer away ended up being more like five kilometers because I was all over the place. By the time I found the place, it was already closed. And But what I did when I got lost was I went into a bookstore and I started trying to memorize the map. And then I realized, you're an idiot, you've got a phone. So I took a picture of the map and then used the map to get around and found my way back home pretty easily after that. The part of town that I was in was like the ritzy part with like the Prada and stuff like that and it was really interesting to see men in suits on their way home from work on their bicycles <laughs> like outside of Prada and stuff these guys just going by on their little bikes it was it was very it was cute like you see that you see a lot of people that commute in Portland through a bicycle but they usually change into like all the gear, you know, they've got the, the spandex pants and the, the fast helmets and the little backpacks with their stuff. And No, this was just regular businessmen dudes going home. A few businesswomen, not very many. Um, also, there was McDonald's right down by all those fancy stores, so there was like this woman sitting there with this... Uh, it wasn't it, Mark Jacobs with this <laughs> Mark Jacobs bag eating a Big Mac. It was great. Um, I walked through a really beautiful park to uh, get down there. I took some pictures of it. I'll be posting. Um, and because I had been walking for so incredibly long when I got lost, I went in and sat on a bench and just for a little bit and watched people go by and watched the. <laughs> Watch the skateboarder boys do their skateboardy things, and it kind of reminds you that you have to start somewhere, <laughs> because usually when you see skateboarding, it's the professionals or in video games, and these people are falling all over the place, and that's okay too, because you have to be there to get to the good part too. So I was kind of surprised about the age of the guys in the park, because they were all about college age rather than teenagers. So that was kind of interesting. And it made me feel a lot less like a dirty old woman for ogling them. Um, a lot of dogs out. I already mentioned that. There seems to be a lot of... A lot of Swedish people seem to have dogs here. Um, let's see, what else did I do with my day? I, I went ahead and I just kind of said, screw it. I, I'm really tired of trying to make my schedule conform to the 9 to 5 here because it's been so tough. So I just went to bed at 3 and got up at 11. Just got my 8 hours just a little weirdly. So it's okay if I go to bed late. Hopefully I'll start going to bed a little earlier and a little earlier until it wraps back around. So... I can't think of much else that I did with myself today. Picked up some newspapers. Uh, I think I threw away that. Oh, no, it's right here. Some of the free ones that were at the grocery store. So, we've got men's fashion. And, um,. This one just kind of tells you stuff that's uh, like things that are going on in the theater and stuff like that. And this is the one that they push through our slots in the morning. Because we're in Ostermalm. So, 
Yay, Oster Mom. It's I'm I'm finally I think starting to get used to seeing Swedish everywhere in print. And I'm starting to recognize words even if I don't even if I haven't been told what the definition is. For example, when I was at the library, I kept seeing uh the word for adult. And I didn't know that's what it was, but since all the books were divided between adults and children, I kind of figured that's what that meant. Um, one thing I'm really running into a problem with here is not finding things that we consider basic. For example, um, there aren't very many places that do eyebrow waxing. Um, I guess Swedes don't have very thick eyebrows here, and then not very dark eyebrows because everyone's blonde. As you can tell, I'm starting to get a little shadow from mine, so normally would be about, now would be about the time when I would get it done. But, um, because people in the service industry are actually paid a decent living wage, it also costs more when you hire them. So um, it's about $20 for an eyebrow wax, whereas the place I was going to was 8 plus $2 for a tip, which made 10 That's not exorbitant, but it means I probably should be doing it at home. So I was like, well... Why don't I look to see how much the uh, wax warmers are here? Can't find any wax warmers. <laughs> um, I'm also having trouble finding um, supplies for doing my nails. Like, um, well, I found a cuticle cutter, um, but clippers, cuticle cutters, filing things, uh, uh, cuticle soak, uh, things like that. Um, yeah, normally I would just pop into Sally's Beauty Supply. There are so many men that are watching this video that aren't going to understand anything I'm talking about. <laughs> I have too many male friends for this to apply to you guys. Um, but I think it's the girlier things that I'm having trouble finding. I haven't been looking that much for guy stuff, but guy stuff is like electronics, and electronics are pretty good here. Except for, I haven't found any of this, like, the, the throwaway phones, the real cheapos. But, um, it, it's interesting. There's, there's less variety of merchandise to buy, which, I guess, decreases the need to buy. Which is maybe why they're kind of a less materialistic culture. I think if they had a 24-hour-a-day Walmart, <laughs> we might see their culture decline. <laughs> You know, like ours has. Um, I don't know. Just kind of an interesting thing. So, that was today. And hopefully I'll get to that sci-fi bookstore so I have some pictures of that to show you guys. Uh, Eric also tells me that there's a place not too far from here that uh, runs some magic games, so... I didn't actually bring my card, so I'll have to buy more, but it'd be good to play some magic. The plans that we had, uh, that's the train, we're real close to the train. Um, the plans that we had to game this weekend kind of fell through because some people forgot that they had to do things or things came up. So it looks like it's going to be next weekend that uh, I get to meet Eric's friends and get to game. I think it'll be my birthday next weekend, too. Let that be a warning to you all. My birthday is coming up. I have no idea how you're supposed to get me a present. I suppose you don't. You get, like, a my friends out of the country exemption, I guess. Um, money. Money's always good. I like money. Gift cards for Amazon.uk or PayPal. I'm greedy. See? Still American. All right. Uh, good night, kids and kiddos. You guys are still in your afternoon, so good afternoon to you all. Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>